packages have arrived. Uh Good afternoon, guys. We are getting a late start to this vlog. Um, I've been recording all day, and I walked outside because uh, FedEx came and uh, was bringing some stuff, and I was like, it is beautiful out here. I looked at my phone, it was almost 4 o'clock. Getting ready to get the razor out, but bam, that really needs wash really bad. Uh, but I'm going to ride downtown because um, it, it feels so good just to ride it again, not smoke or anything. So we'll take it downtown, I'm going to go ahead and check the mail and everything, and then I'll bring it back up and probably wash it. And we're going to open up and look at uh, the rims we got for Colossus. And um, probably change the place. I never did that yesterday. I kept saying I was going to do it. I think I said it twice that I was going to do it, but I never did it. But things happen, but I have been recording all, uh, all morning. Um, that's the thing, it's like the vlogs and stuff, I have to do everything toward the evening because in the mornings usually when I record and edit because... It takes a while. If you have videos 30 minutes, then that's 30 minutes I've had to straight record and then I have to edit and that takes just a little bit. Then upload. It's a, it's a long process, especially if you do vlogs and gaming and all that stuff, but I love doing it. I love doing this and yeah. But anyways, um, let's get the razor and let's head down to town. Alright guys, so we just checked them out and everything. Um, if you ever see any videos and everything, it always looks like I live kind of in uh, an old school town. Well, I actually do. This is actually Bramwell. You've got the train depot over there. It's a old town like built back in the 1800s. Um, it's, really not, it's really cool. I grew up here like been here all my life, so kind of know everything. But it's a pretty nice little town. And it's four-wheeler friendly. Well, kind, kind of friendly. You just got to follow their the rules. All right, guys. So we are back. Um, I actually went out with my cousins for a little bit. Um, just to, uh, hung out with him for a little bit. So it is actually kind of evening now. But it's all right because we're going to go ahead and box uh, one of the rims. And uh, mm, really need to put plugs and wires on this. I don't know. Like, I, I want to do it, but I don't want to do it. But let's go ahead and unbox the rims. Now, unfortunately, these rims are uh, 15s. Same rims the truck has on it. The only reason why I got different ones is because Dukes of Hazard, they're old school. I uh, couldn't do anything with them. So, I went ahead and purchased these. Well, kind of a <laughs> small box. Um, you mount them, you own them. Um, okay, cool. Thanks. All right, let's go ahead and get this out. All right, they are the Pacer rims. Um, I just like them because they look like they kind of had bead lock on them. I was, I didn't need real bead lock because they do get pretty pricey, and we're not going anywhere when we actually need bead lock. So let's see what these look like. Um, they actually package them pretty good. Oh yeah, those look really good, a whole lot better than what we have on them, a whole lot better. Alright, these things look pretty good. Now my plan is I'm actually going to tape off here and paint this ring purple, leave the bolts that color. Then we'll paint around here and maybe paint the P in the middle. But going from these to these, um, I think these look a lot better. All right, now the offset is going to be a little bit different because um, the ones on I have a little bit of a deeper dish where they go in. So if there's any trouble with that, um, I'll give maybe an inch spacer or whatever to bring it out. Just depends. Like I said, I'm just trying to the tires wear out because they're basically brand new. So I just got to check and see. But before we mount any tires on, we're going to check to make sure that they are the right ones. Remember, you mount them, they're yours. 
All right, guys. So we are finally going to change the plugs and wires in uh, the Super Ram. Um, I only see one problem with the um, quarter intake. It's going to be hard to get to. Let's see the last two spark plugs over here. And of course, as always, the last one over here is a pain to get to. But I did buy me a bunch of extensions and stuff. So hopefully, we have the the right amount that we need and everything. And I bought some spark plug uh, wrenches. So we should have everything we need. I do have plug wires and everything. And basically what I do is when I do plugs, I'm guessing everybody does, we might actually take that back filter off. Uh, the quarter intake off. Man, it's a job putting that on. getting it. But we might take that off so I can get to the, the wires in the back. But what I do is I'll take one wire off of the plug, match it to the kit that I got, and then I'll uh, take the plug out, put a new plug in. Put that wire back in and run it put it on there that way i'm not taking all of them off at one time and all the wires will match and be correctly so we're gonna go ahead and do that shouldn't take maybe 30 minutes it's just gonna take it just it's hard getting that last one in over here because of the brake booster um other than that we should be good so let's get started all right so i got my plugs and everything i think the wires are actually in the shop but uh, I gotta clean my truck out. But I've been carrying these in here for probably over a month or two. Uh, they're brake rotors. And in one of the boxes, wait a minute. No, this is not a spark plug. I thought it was a box of spark plugs because the same. This is actually a U-joint. Um, I gotta put a U-joint in the driver's side. For some reason, every year, it's either the driver or the passenger I always have to replace. I've uh, put um, Moog in because everybody's like, oh, Moog is the best. Let me tell you what, I put Moog in. This cheap, like, off-brand from Avance, their off-brand, lasted longer than Moog did. Um, and then I, when I dug in more and I started talking to people, everybody said that Moog is overpriced crap. Um, I mean, I've had bad experiences with them, so I can't say that they're the best. Their hub, I put their hub on because it's supposed to be type heavy duty and better than OEM. It went out too. Um, put a cheap off-brand hub on did really good so but I'm gonna put new brakes on everything and uh, New U joint and check everything and make sure everything's really good and tight uh, before we put the big tires on But I'm not gonna do the brakes or anything until we put the tires on because Well, I take everything off and do it again um, next week um, If everything's go right my cousin's supposed to give me a quote on doing the exhaust. We're gonna do the headers um, now I'm not gonna put the headers on he's gonna put the headers on and do the uh, we're gonna do trill duels all the way at the back coming out the back bumper If you don't know about this truck It does have the fourth gen bumper cutout style in it that we put on it um, He's supposed to give me a quote and everything doing that. I was going to put the headers on myself But they have a tendency to break and he says, you know being at the shop and stuff They can drill them out no problem. So he he does a lot of uh, the exhaust work for a lot of the old cars right here um, everybody always takes it to him because he he's really precise and he he takes pride in his work and that's why like so um, he even told me he's like bring your truck over leave it for like a day he's like live for overnight he says so I can take my time on it, make sure everything's right so um, probably going next week we'll have the tool duels in and he's even going to uh, take videos and everything he's going to start up with uh, the open headers because I was like dude you got to if I'm not there um, at least try something so he's going to start and see what this sound like he's going to have it on video and everything um, but uh Let's go ahead and get these plugs and wires done. All right, so I was gonna go ahead and remove the colder intake, but we're gonna go ahead and do this side first. That way um, we'll get it done really quick. And this side we have to remove the quarter intake which is just a bolt under there and i have to uh take this bolt off and of course i've got to um take the filter off but right now we're going to go ahead and take one of the wires off um let's see <clears throat> yeah we can get to it we're gonna go ahead and take one of the wires off now the wires might be good i, re I didn't replace them that long ago but i'm going to go ahead and replace the wires and everything might as well um, let's see, this might be so good. There we go. Um, I guess it could be changed. Now, that's only because every now and then I've been starting it and miss a little bit until it gets warm. So I'm going to change the plugs and everything, and hopefully this is what's causing it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put the new plug in. Oh, uh, if I can get it in there, perfect. We'll go ahead and throw that in. 
because I do have to change the wire out, but I want to go ahead that way in a, a hole, a open hole. All right, guys, so it's getting, it's almost dark on us, um, so we'll have to finish that up. Uh, I got one plug in. I was chasing down the wire and stuff, and I was like, I can't hardly see, so I went ahead and put the wire back on. We put a new plug and then just old wire on. Uh, we're going to put new wires on, finish put the plugs up uh, in tomorrow, and uh, we got a couple more things. I actually have um, a couple more parts coming in tomorrow for Colossus, and... Yeah, and I need to do some research on some more parts. But I will see y'all in the morning. So, good night. All right, so uh, it is currently the next day. Um, we're going to go ahead and finish up this. And as soon as I finish up the plugs and wires, I think I might charge up my RC. It's a Axial XC Extend 2. It might go take it and do a little uh, crawling with it. Maybe, I don't know. It depends on if we, if we don't run out of daylight. So, let's go ahead and finish this up real quick. Alright, so we got the old cable off and stuff. It has a couple clips you have to get it off. Um, nothing bad. <clears throat> Alright, but um, the wire don't look like it's too bad. But I'm going to go ahead and replace them anyways. Might as well. So what I'm going to do is try to measure these out. And see which one is the same. Because they're not labeled or anything like that. So we don't want to get one that's extremely too long. And then we need that for another one. And we don't want to get one extremely too short, so let's just go through. Because these are should be the same exact kind that's on it. Uh, yeah, it is. So looks like we have a match. This might be just a fraction longer, but it looks like it works. So we're going to go ahead and plug this one back, the new one back in. I only take one at a time. That way you don't have to go through and try to figure out which fire and order on the distributor you have to put all the plugs to. So do one at a time, be really good. Um, let's go ahead and finish this up. All right, so we just finished up plugs and wires in uh, the Super Ram. I did have to take the quarter in and take off. It was just easier just to get under the wires and everything. Now the box being there was a little bit of a pain, but it's all right. So we have uh, new plugs and wires on here. I would have finished yesterday, but my cousin came up, so I had to help him with something. And FedEx just left and left us a package. So let's go ahead and open up and see what it is. Oh, I love when packages come. All right. Ah, yes. Nothing better than packages. Um, E1, E3 USA Racing. Uh, we're putting it on Dodge Ram. So, there ain't no racing about it. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. So, right here, I bet that is a bearing. Just because it said bearings, I figure it was going to be a bearing. <laughs> Should be the bearing unit, actually. Oh, it is say bearing units. Now people will think I just read the box. Oh, well, it's going. Alright, so this is a bearing. You see right here. Hardware. Let's take this thing out of here. Yeah. Oh yeah! Look at this thing right here. Perfect. All right. If you don't know what this is, um, on Dodge Rams, the steering is completely trash on Dodges. 
I will be the first one to admit besides their transmission. All right, so this right here is a steering stabilizer. Basically, you take this where your sway bar, sway bar is bolted in. This will bolt up there, and your sway bar can bolt up also. Should be a little bit longer uh, bolts with it. Um, and we also have drop down sway bar brackets on Colossus because this is one of Colossus. Um, but I'm putting a new steering box in. I was like, well, I'm going to go ahead and get the steering stabilizer put on. I think this is around like 45 bucks. Now, you can get, there's some that's like $250, which are built just like this. It might be a little better. I don't know. But your bearing goes on here. It might go like this. I don't know. No. Um, it has to go like this because it got the flat edge. I'd see. Uh, I was actually just going off of if that actually slid in there, but no, it goes, should go maybe right there or right here. I don't know how to check. Well, basically, it makes it so your, um, your, I guess, gear, drive gear of your power steering box um, goes through this. So when your box is mounted on your frame, when you turn, if you got big tires, it don't try to twist your box and put a strain on it. This is supposed to kind of let it ride in there, so it helps it out. Now, I do have a drop-down pivot arm because the truck does have a 9-inch lift on it. Later on, probably higher. But right now... I'm put this on there when we put the new box so hopefully it helps all right and if you're wondering where it came from it came from eBay it was like like I said like 40 some dollars I'm actually going to order one for the Super Ram 2 because when we start running 35s on it I feel like the steering is going to crap out even more all right so mail time uh, when I start getting letters and everything um, I'm just trying to open them in the vlogs that way we don't have like one big mail time so hopefully you know every vlog or every other whatever will have mail time in it so i got this um we'll go ahead and open it. of course i open it because i always you know read everything um but if you'd like to send any mail or anything and have your drawings or anything showed on the vlog um the mailbox uh, po description thing is address there we go is in the description so yeah so let's go ahead and open this all right, all right, best thing to use for a hood, I mean a table is a hood of a lifted razor. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and read this real quick. All right, hey, what's up? Man, my name is Zach. I own a 2012 Dodge Charger Pursuit. I love the Chargers. Um, just like an RT, but it has SRT suspension, brakes, and steering. Oh. Anyways, I drew you a lifted badass first gen Dodge for you and a little ghost. I have been a fan since Revhead, one year ago or longer, and I always loved your videos. Um, like Revhead, I used to do that back in the day when it first came out, and I got like 300 views in one episode, and I was like, oh, yes, yes. So it was, that's a long time ago. I remember exactly all about Revhead and everything. All right, so let's look at this picture. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Let's see. Make sure you can see it really good. Look at that. Now that that's a really good drawing. I like that. Gotta love a first gen. And the tires, they almost look. I mean, to me, it looks like. Uh, mud grapplers and i just unloaded uh, the uh, nino mud grapplers that's going on the super m i just unloaded them so that's 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 crazy but and it's got the little ghost to match the ghost tattoo thank you zach i like that thank you that's really good that will definitely be going on a while um like i said i'm still working on building my shop so still have time to send pictures and everything in that will go on my wall i gotta get frames for all these all right, so that does it for mail time. And like I said, if you'd like to send anything or drawings or anything and have it hung up in my shop whenever, because I'm going to have like a certain place where I have nothing but all drawings and everything. And um, it will, hopefully I'll have it before winter. I'll have my shop, but like I said, having a house built and everything like that kind of <laughs> throws everything for a loop. Um, but anyways, thanks uh, for sending that, Zach. I really do like the first gen. Again, I'm a big first gen fan. All right, so this is really going to do it for the vlog. Um, I mean, it's been 
a busy day. Um, like I said, the last couple of days I've actually, this vlog's been over, I think, a three day period. And again, I get so busy and everything, especially for recording and editing, and then you have to throw, you know, life in there and everything. So, you know, recording, editing, life and i like to spend time with my girlfriend and everything like that it's it's hard to do everything but you know what we manage it and we keep on going i also want to show you something i've done in colossus now if you haven't watched a uh, garage edition for or you're new or you just start watching it because a lot of times when people watch series they don't go back they just start from the first and i understand that so i'm going to show you something i've done to colossus because i feel like right now we're just we're not doing anything custom or anything to vehicles but i'm going to show you what i did to colossus and i got to finish it and I plan on starting on a Super M hopefully here soon also. All right, this truck is all two pieces inside because I've been working on it. Um, that's something I started working on and I really never finished it. Um, this is gonna be painted purple and stuff. So I might do something with that or I might just go a different route. Um, uh, here we go. Now, um, this is a fiberglass. Uh, basically what I did was I took a mold off the door and then I had like kind of a, a base plate as you see right there, like a base plate, and then I kind of built the rings and everything around it and everything like that, and then I made it so it would fit the door. Now, the back seat, it, the back seat got, it, it, was, it was crazy because I wanted uh, seats, Now I know this is close, but that's because I haven't had the same kind of that installed yet. Um, like I said, I just, I wanted the four seats so we can always scoot these frontwards. Um, but I wanted to do racing style seats. Now, the thing about these trucks is, especially your front, you got these seat belts, which is a stupid pain. I hate seat belts and seats. So we're gonna have to do harnesses in the truck, but this is something I started a long time ago. Um, now, I took the, the bench seat out, and sorry, the truck is a mess right now. But that diamond right there, uh, around the outer edges and the diamond, it actually lights up purple. It's got lights in it. Um, just never did get to actually start finishing it. Like I said, this right here was going to be painted and put speakers. I am going to start working on because I'm going to start driving this truck soon. Um, but yeah, I still got to finish the other side. I actually have the door panels still off. It's in my shop, my other shop. Uh, finish it and all this going to be painted. We'll have speakers in it. So it is kind of custom. And like I said, this right here will be custom also. The most important part. Oh yeah, tow mirrors, buddy. Yeah, I'm actually 6'2", so this truck is pretty high up there. Be better when I get 37s on it, but we got a new 30, well, they're just, I mean, they're basically brand new, so we're going to, uh, going to you know, uh, slick the 35s before we go with brand new tires anyways. All right, guys, it does. this is going to do it for this video. I actually have to go look at some stuff uh, and everything. So I will see y'all in the next vlog. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Be safe. This is a ghost and I'm out of here. Where's the air conditioner?